Today I'm very happy to have this opportunity to present our work Oxadapt Stable and Efficient Test Time Adaptation for Temporary Consistent Video Semantic Segmentation. I'm Yi Zhou Zhang from Nanjing University of Science and Technology. This is a joint work with Shubankar Herbert and Fatih from Qualcomm AI Research. Video Semantic Segmentation considers the problem to generate semantic segmentation result for every video frame and in this problem generating temporally consistent results is as important as generating accurate per frame segmentation output since inconsistency almostly arises from the model's uncertainty in its output we propose an adaptation scheme where the model learns from its own segmentation decisions as it scans through the video and uh, through this update, we can produce more confident and temporally consistent labeling for similarly looking pixels across frame. Take a look at the right hand side of the figure, the Stewart segmentation model HRLED W48 produced pretty good per frame segmentation, but when we look at the result a long time there are quite a lot of segmentation inconsistency for example those red arrows pointed places they are temporarily inconsistent a long time and our oxidap method can improve the temporal consistency quite a lot as we show in the column two and column four here we show the high-level overview of our proposed OxAdapt as well as two closely related methods. At the left-hand side, the Deep Video Pry aims to improve temporal consistency using a model retraining scheme. Given a trained model, it first applies a model to all the image frames to get the segmentation results. Then it constructs a training set contains all the frames and segmentation results for training a new network. The new network was trained using at least 25 epochs from scratch. There are two noticeable issues for this approach. First, it is computationally very expensive. Second, when we do the retraining, it is a question when to stop the retraining. Too early stop would make the training underfit the data, and too late would make the training overfit the data. Uh, it is very hard to determine this time in practice, especially for test time adaptation. In the middle, we show the naive adaptation. This is to adapt the model in test time in online learning fashion. The model learns from its output and tries to make the outputs more confident, although it takes less compute than deep video pry, Upt updating the model itself would have the model collapse problem. And uh, in practice, we see that with uh, a few hundred uh, frames adaptation, some weak uh, segmentation classes will disappear in the output. On the right hand side, we see our proposed ox adapt. We create a small segmentation network named OxNet, and this network works together with the main segmentation model. Uh, and these two models produce the results, and we sum up these results and pass it through the ArcMax layer. Uh, we use the uh, segmentation uh, as the pseudo label to train the OxNet while fixing the segmentation model, the original segmentation model. Uh, so in this way, we can uh, avoid the model collapse while keep the uh, cost of the update very small because we are only doing the update on the small OxNet. Next, we see some dynamics during adaptation. In the left figure, we show the temporal consistency along the number of frames processed uh, in test time. And in the right, we show the per frame segmentation accuracy along the number of frames processed. Uh, we see that our OxAdapt can drastically improve the temporal consistency while keeps the segmentation accuracy on the same level as the, uh, the original segmentation network. Thank you for your attention. Please take a look at our paper and visit our booth for more information and results.